Hi guys, my name is Samira and I do tech and lifestyle videos every weekday. Before I continue, go ahead and subscribe before you forget. Today we're going to go over blockchain and this is because in my past videos I've talked about it but I've never actually gone over what it actually is. I'm doing a basic, um, simple understanding of blockchain and that is because Johan Wolfgang Van Gogh once said, whatever you cannot understand, you cannot possess. And you guys are out here possessing Bitcoin, but you don't even have that basic line understanding of what blockchain is. So let's get started. And the reason that we're going over all these things about blockchain is because I think there needs to be more of an understanding across business, technology, marketing, and just a whole circle about what blockchain is about. And I'm also doing this video more because if I'm able to teach something, I grasp a better understanding of it. So lesson number one, we have Bitcoin and blockchain. Bitcoin is not blockchain. It is not one and the same thing. Uh, Bitcoin is a digital asset. It's a currency. It is not blockchain. So as long as you understand that, we can keep going. So blockchain is a technology that enables moving of digital assets between two individuals, point A and point B. I once spoke to um, the financial team of a company and I was like, hey, are you guys interested in using blockchain um, to move some of your digital assets because in the future the middleman and the finance world is going to um, be irrelevant and their response to me was more about bitcoin and the bad reputation that bitcoin has because of the popularity of it and how the price fluctuate and x y and z problems with bitcoin but they for forgot about uh, the technology of blockchain and how strong um, that technology is and how it's going to replace a lot of systems that we currently have. Okay, so let's go over one of the problems that blockchain helps solve, and that is money transfer. So let's say that you and your friends are really into the World Cup right now, and you guys are making bets with each other. Um, so here's you, you're A, and your friend is B. So your friend, um, so you and your friend are like, hey, like, is Nigeria gonna win? You said no, your friend says yes, your friend like, all right, send me $100 because they just won two games. So send me my money. Um, and so you're in the US, they're in Nigeria. How, do you, how are you gonna wire the money? You usually go through a third party, a trusted third party. And what happens is you're like, hey, bank of X, Y, and Z, send my friend $100. Um, and so your bank is gonna check to make, um, your bank is going to check to make sure this is the person that you actually want to send it to. And then they're going to send this guy $100 after they take a fee. Um, and then also this takes like mad time. Let's say um, five days. So this is going to take extra time. The way that blockchain works is we're going to make this process cheaper and faster. So blockchain is going to solve this problem without the third party. So we're getting rid of the middleman and we're using open ledgers. Now I'm going to illustrate to you what an open ledger looks like. Please feel free to pause if I'm going too fast or if I miss any information. This is in no way implementation. This is all conceptual. So in this example, we have party A, B, C, and D, and they want to move money amongst each other. So remember you lost that bet and you have to send your friends some money to Nigeria. Um, first, before you send money, before the system even starts, at the beginning, we need to know that A has, let's say, $1,000 in their account. All right, so A has $1,000 in their account before we even start anything. Now, A creates a transaction to send B that $100 that you owe them. So, and transaction is added into the ledger showing... A moving to B, $100. And in the open ledger, this, these transactions are linked. Now, your friend in Nigeria, B, wants to send that money to their bank. So, B to C. So we're sending that $100. Again, we're going to create a transaction here. B to C, $100. And like we said before, this transaction is going to link to the other transaction, creating sort of a chain. And now the credit card service um, or the bank wants to send that money to their bigger bank, so to speak. 
This is just an example. But yeah, so B, I mean, C sends to D. C sends to D the $100. And this is linked together. So this open ledger is just a chain of transactions, um, hence blockchain system. In this process, every transaction is public, very transparent, and everyone can see what's going on. And then everyone can also decide whether or not a transaction is valid or not. So, for example, let's say that um, party A submits a transaction saying, I want to send, um, we'll do a different color. So let's say party A says, I want to send $2,000 to party B. I mean, to party D. They're like, I want to send $2,000 to party D. We all know that party A only has, what, $900 in their account right now? So that is automatically, boom, no. So in the, in the blockchain system, it's very open to see what's valid and not valid. But in the earlier example, um, I mentioned how we want to get rid of third parties. In this example, that is a trusted third party, and we want to get rid of that. And this is a centralized example. Blockchain is decentralized. Um, and so the next principle that we're going to go over is distributed ledgers. So blockchain is going to um, decentralize this process by creating nodes in the system, um, or in the network, excuse me. And so anyone will be able to hold a ledger. Let me draw it out. Um, so here we are getting rid of the trusted middleman. Open ledger is going to turn into distributed ledger. So now that it's distributed and everyone can have nodes, I'm going to use these sticky notes. That means that any of these parties can hold a ledger if they want to participate. So here, A has a copy of the ledgers. Uh, and the ledgers are basically um, these chain of transactions that we made. Uh, C can hold a copy, everyone get a copy, B gets a copy, D gets a copy, everyone, whoever wants to participate, everyone can hold it. But here's where the problem comes from. We want to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Uh, we need to make sure that all ledgers have the same information. So how do we do that? Okay, so now we kind of have a general understanding that this is an open system, um, very transparent, and that there's distributed nodes in the network. And so the question is, how do nodes synchronize? So here's an example that illustrates that concept. We have party B, party B, that broadcasts to the entire system, hey guys, I want to send um, $100 to party, to party D. Um, but in the blockchain system, this is an unvalidated transaction. It needs, to be, it needs to be validated. So this is not going to be put into anyone's ledger yet. Now, who can validate this transaction? Miners. There's this concept called miners. Um, in this example, let's just have A and C be the miners in this party. So we'll call C a miner, and we'll call A a miner. Miners are special nodes that have permission to hold the ledger. And how do they validate this transaction? So what they do is they compete. They compete to be the first one to validate this transaction. And they're rewarded with monetary rewards, money, usually Bitcoin. So how do you get first place in this, in this race to validate this transaction? So first, that's just it. You need to validate um, this transaction which is great because this is an open ledger. So you can check whether or not B even has this money in their account. Once you do that, you need to find a special key to take, um, to take this transaction and lock it into your ledger. That takes a ton of computational power and time because essentially what you're doing is you're just guessing a ton of random keys until you guess the right one. And once you guess the right key, um, this transaction goes into um, the ledger. So let's say C guessed the right answer for this. So then this transaction is locked into is locked into the ledger. And now C goes ahead and brags to the network and it shares, hey guys, this is the solution and this is the key. So what happens is um, once C, uh, once C um, so basically once C puts the solution on check, Everyone takes it and uses it and it puts it into their own ledgers. 
So A is going to be like, oh, word, C, post the key and, and the network. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my ledger. Um, I didn't make the money. I didn't get the Bitcoin for winning this first, but A is going to go ahead and try again for the next trans transaction that comes. It's basically a race to see who's first. Um, and then once the answer is, is put into the network, the solution is automatically added to all the ledger. Okay, so this is mainly an example of what blockchain looks like in the currency state of mind. Um, just to go over what we learned, we showed how the whole system of blockchain is based off how this whole system is open. There's open ledgers. Everything is public and transparent. Blockchain is really sold off the fact that it's transparent, efficient, um, and the safety and trust aspect uh, could be seen to be more trustworthy than the current manual systems, manual systems that we have now. Uh, so that is blockchain. Let me know if you have any questions or if anything was unclear. Again, a lot of this was more about uh, concepts. None of it was like implementation because implementation is, uh, I don't want to say it's more complex. I personally think after um, developing uh, in the blockchain space that it's not complex. It's just you need to learn the, learn the processes of, of building the blockchain space, which is definitely doable. Uh, so in future videos, we can go over hyperledgers. We can go over smart contracts. Solidity, Ethereum, different uh, softwares or systems that you might use to build in the blockchain space. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I will say that this video was heavily influenced from a lot of blockchain videos that I've watched so that I can learn. Um, specifically, Shay, Ru uh, Shay Rubin. Um, he is with City Innovation Labs. So this video is very similar to his, mainly because I want to... Um, really understand the blockchain system and share with you guys. Uh, and sometimes when it comes from a different mouth, uh, maybe you can grasp it more. Uh, or maybe just hearing something again or seeing it in different examples helps you. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments below. Again, please subscribe. That would be super helpful. And I have tech and lifestyle videos every weekday. I'll see you guys tomorrow.